Today, we will talk about how high Tesla's share price could go over the next five years. For more stock updates, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get into the video. Tesla shares have surged by roughly 21% in the past five days, following the announcement that second quarter vehicle deliveries surpassed Wall Street's expectations. Despite this short-term boost, the electric vehicle manufacturer's longer-term downward trend persists due to high interest rates, increasing competition, and other macroeconomic challenges. This raises the question, do the strong second quarter deliveries signal a sustainable recovery, or will Tesla continue to decline? Let us delve into the potential future of this innovative leader in electric vehicles over the next five years. Investors in Tesla do not have to wait for the company's earnings report, expected later this month, to gain insights into its performance. Tesla's management regularly releases production and delivery data on a quarterly basis, a change from their previous monthly updates. The much-anticipated second quarter numbers did not disappoint, with Tesla delivering 443,956 cars, surpassing Wall Street's consensus forecast of 439,000. However, this figure represents a 4.8% decline from the same period last year and marks the second consecutive quarter of declining deliveries, following a 13% year-over-year -year drop in the first quarter. While the better-than-expected delivery numbers sparked a double-digit percentage rally in the stock price, the automaker is not yet in the clear. The full extent of its challenges may become evident when the company releases its complete quarterly report. One significant issue that may arise is pricing. Automakers can drive volume growth by lowering prices, but this often comes at the expense of revenue per car sold and margins. For Tesla, this poses a substantial problem because its previously high margins have been a key factor, distinguishing it from less inspiring mass market competitors. In the first quarter, Tesla's operating margins fell from 11.4% to 5.5%. Continued declines could reduce the company to the status of a typical automaker. Currently, Tesla's stock trades at a significant premium with a price-to-sales multiple of 6.33, compared to Ford Motor Company's and General Motors multiples of 0.3 and 0.36, respectively. If Tesla becomes just another car company, it risks losing much of its 500 $60 billion valuation. Shareholders are counting on Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk to prevent this outcome. Elon Musk, fresh from securing an equity-based pay package worth $44.9 billion, is incentivized to do everything possible to boost the stock price. He appears to be shifting focus from automotive opportunities to new growth drivers like robotics and artificial intelligence. The company is developing Dojo, a supercomputer designed to train its machine learning models for full, self-driving capabilities. While Tesla is not alone in this endeavor, it has advantages due to the vast amount of user data it gathers from customers with full self-driving software in their cars. Musk has announced that the company will reveal its RoboTaxi on August 8th, along with its next-generation vehicle platform. If the RoboTaxis are ready for consumers, they could open up a new revenue stream for Tesla outside of the automotive sector, positioning the company to explore other artificial intelligence applications, such as warehouse automation or even humanoid robots over the next five years and beyond. If current trends persist, its once high-margin electric vehicle business could become commoditized over the next five years amid rising competition and diminished pricing power. This scenario does not justify the stock's forward price-to-earnings ratio of 57 compared to the Nasdaq Composite's average price-to-earnings ratio of 32. Investors who purchase the stock now are betting on Elon Musk's ability to transform Tesla into more than just an automaker through advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics. This is a challenge prospect, and Musk has a history of over-promising and under-delivering. However, given that Musk has previously rescued Tesla from dire situations, there is reason for the market to retain some faith in him. The stock appears to be a hold, pending further information. Today, JP Morgan's Ryan Brinkman reiterated a sell rating on Tesla with a $115 price target. Brinkman noted that Tesla's vehicle deliveries declined for the second straight quarter, while the global battery electric vehicle market expanded by 22%, indicating a significant loss of market share for Tesla. Meanwhile, Guggenheim's Ronald Jusico maintained a sell rating on Tesla, but raised the price target to $134 from $126, attributing the increase to Tesla's robust energy storage deployments despite the positive second quarter delivery figures. On the other end of the spectrum, George Giannarikas and Wedbush's Daniel Ives maintained buy ratings on Tesla while increasing their price targets. Giannarikas raised his target to $254 from 
from $222, citing improving sales trends in emerging markets and the anticipation of new model launches next year and stabilizing margins. Ives also raised his price target to $300 from $275, maintaining a buy rating on the stock. Overall, the consensus among analysts is to hold Tesla stock with an average price target of $182.82. Shares of Tesla have rallied by nearly 42% over the past three months. In summary, Tesla's recent second quarter delivery numbers have provided a temporary boost to its stock price, but significant challenges remain. The company faces pressures from pricing strategies, competition, and macroeconomic factors, which could impact its high-margin electric vehicle business. Investors are closely watching Elon Musk's efforts to transform Tesla into a leader in artificial intelligence and robotics, a move that could redefine its future. While some analysts are optimistic about Tesla's prospects, the overall consensus is to hold pending further developments. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.